everyone. Good to see you again. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? I did. And like I said last week, best thing is that you don't need a special day to give thanks. You can give thanks anytime. So we're going to start with this song. You'll see I use on this part, this is for Jesus because that's the sign language symbol for Jesus pointing to um, where the nails in his hands were when he was crucified. But So this is the sign language symbol for Jesus. I just thought I would say that in case you were wondering why I was doing that. This song is called Jesus We're Amazed and it was written by David Moody and Paul Crouch and it comes from my Kids Pray CD, 2005-2006. Let's give this a go. It's such a great song. Ooh. fun don't you just love that song yeah I like to dance around did you notice when I was saying Jesus I was kind of turning to the sides and I thought I need to be sharing the good news about Jesus I need to be going this way and that way yeah just something I thought I would do anyways um for our story today I'm going to use both of the lessons from the worship service um today um starting with the one from Mark and I'm going to use my little Jesus figure <laughs> that I used last week and my disciples I just love having all these toys that my granddaughters play with anyway so one day oh this is gonna be his disciples they're kind of laying down I guess on the job one day Jesus asked his disciples who do people say I am put them down and they answered him some say John the Baptist one of them said some say Elijah uh, one of them say, some say one of the prophets. But Jesus turned to them and he said, but who do you say I am? And Peter answered right away, you are the Christ. Well, good for Peter. 
in Mark, he starts um, his book, um, the Gospel of Mark, right at the beginning he says, this is the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So, yep, Peter got it right. Well, you know, for the month of September, we were talking about being joyful and hopeful and loving. Well, there were people called, in a place called Thessalonica that seemed to have got that message. And after Jesus had left the earth and went back to heaven, his followers, oh, here they are, were going all over the place sharing the gospel, which means the good news about Jesus. Well, the next lesson is from the book of Thessalonians, uh, because the people were from Thessalonica. Well, then the people in Thessalonica, they had been worshiping idols, but after they heard the good news um, about Jesus, they stopped worshiping and serving idols and started worshiping and serving God. Well, one of Jesus' followers that had gone to Thessalonica and had shared the good news about Jesus with them, he wrote a letter to them after he had been gone from them for a while. And he said he thanked God for them every day. The love and the hope and the joy that they had in Jesus was just shining out of them. And their faith in God had become known everywhere. Wow, that's quite a witness. I bet they could have answered the question, and who do you say I am? Well, you know, that's a good question for us to answer too. Who do you say Jesus is? What does he mean to you? Well, if you're just one of the little ones, you might think, whoa, that's kind of a big question for me. Well, you know what? For us big people, that's kind of a big question too. We often have a hard time answering that question. So I thought, for our craft today, I thought I would look in the Bible and try to find as many words as I could that describe who Jesus is. So I got a piece of paper and I was writing it down and, and I was kind of running out of room because I wanted it to be about this size. Well. I'm someone who likes to have something that sits on my dresser because then I can wake up and I can see it and it starts my brain thinking. You might be someone who likes something hanging on your wall or maybe on your fridge or on your bulletin board or you might be someone that likes to write things down in a book. Remember the little book we made this summer where we wrote down special things? Oh, like this one. Let your love for God change the world. Never let the world change your love for God. My little book is filled with all sorts of things like that. Whatever you decide to use, you can be as creative as you like, but this is what I encourage you to do. Whether it's on a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. Oh, look what I found in my recycle box. I found a yellow piece of cardboard. Don't even have to paint it. I don't have to turn it inside out and whatever. So I decided I'm going to use this piece of cardboard. And this is what I did. I wrote the name of Jesus. Well, actually, I had sticker letters. I put the name of Jesus in the middle, and then I wrote down all these words that I could find out about them from Isaiah. You'll hear that at Christmas, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Jesus calls himself the way, the truth, the life. I decorated that with little angels. He's also the bread of life, living water, rock, light of the world. There's a song called Waymaker that calls him Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. <gasps> Lamb of God, Messiah, Christ, Emmanuel. In the book of John, right at the beginning, he says, The Word, the Word became flesh. Redeemer, Savior, Chosen One, Anointed One, Holy One, Lord, Master, oh, Son of God. I can go on and on and on. And <laughs> Anyways, I was filling up, and I still have room, so I'm probably going to add some more. And then I decorated around the outside, and I found this shiny piece of silver. That's kind of cool, because isn't it how it reflects? But you know what? Um, for some of you little ones, you might be thinking, yeah, that's, that's a bit beyond me. <laughs> well, here is what I would like for you little ones to do. You could just write, Jesus loves me. Yeah, that's kind of what you need to know about, Je about Jesus right now. Jesus is God and he loves you unceasingly. He loves you who you are and he promises to be with you always so you can write, Jesus loves me and yay. <laughs> but you know what? 
Why I thought of doing this is because I thought, even for your little ones, you start like this, but as you get older, you can turn it around, or if you're doing it in a book, add it to a book. This is probably a little more practical. <laughs> or add to your fridge, but you can start putting downwards the things that you learn about Jesus. You can start writing them down. And when you see them and you read them, it gets your brain going and you start thinking more and more about Jesus. Because I would like to encourage you to want to be a learner of Jesus, to learn more and more about him every day. Yeah, he's pretty cool, that Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. And he loves you unceasingly. So, anyways, that's what I thought for today, that we would do for today. Who is Jesus? Yeah, whatever way you choose to do about it, it's just fine. Be as creative as you like. But just want to encourage you to want to be a learner of Jesus. And as an encouragement to all of you, I for, want for the next about six weeks until Advent starts, I'm going to end our session with this benediction. And hopefully you'll learn the words off by heart and these precious words will be a comfort to you. So let's get going on this song. And i got to go off the screen for a moment. Here we go. I think it's starting. <laughs> written by Judy Mackenzie Dunn, and that also came from this same CD. Wow. Thank you, Judy, for writing that beautiful, beautiful song. And of course, those words come from Scripture. Yeah. Let's close with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving me, for promising to be with me always, and help me to grow in learning more and more about you. And Help me to worship you and serve you always. Amen. Bye-bye.